Diego Padres signed Jake Arrieta after he got released a few days ago from the Chicago Cubs. And he's already starting in Wednesday's ball game for the Padres here versus the Colorado Rockies. So obviously a couple injuries on the Padres pitching staff. Hugh Darvish, he went on the injured list yesterday. Dilson Lament, things are not looking up for him to return anytime soon. And Jake Arrieta, I know he's a veteran. I know he's been around for a while here, but this season, it's been a bad season for him. Five and 11 and 86 and a third. 113 hits given up, 66 runs, 21 home runs already. 39 walks, 74 strikeouts, a 6.88 ERA, and a 1.76 whip with four quality starts in the last couple weeks here before it led to his release with the Chicago Cubs. Eight innings. 0-1 oh, record in the time, 20 hits, 12 runs, 3 homers, 2 walks, 5 Ks, a 13 and a half ERA, and a 2.75 whip. So Arietta, he just hasn't been the same the last two or three seasons when he was with Philly and then the Cubs here for most of the season this year now since he got released. But I actually like the landing spot a lot here for Arietta. I know the NL West is a very stacked and tough division, but right here he's going to have a team behind him that will give him run support and maybe a change of scenery, even though he was only with Chicago, like I mentioned, for four months here, could help him, and he's going to be in a pennant race. Obviously, they're trying to get the, the division, but most likely the Padres will get a wild card spot here this season. And the last three outings for Arietta, July 30th at Washington, four innings, got the loss, Seven hits, two runs, a homer, a walk, three Ks, a 4.50 ERA, a two whip. August 5th at the Rockies, who he's versing in Wednesday's game. Four innings, no decision. Nine hits, four runs, three homers, two Ks, a nine ERA, a 2.25 whip. In August 11th versus the Brewers, four innings, got the loss, got bombed in this one. 11 hits, eight runs, two walks, three Ks, an 18 ERA, and a 3.25 whip. So right now... As far as fantasy baseball goes, obviously those numbers are nothing at all, but just horrible numbers that will kill your ERA and whip for your fantasy team here. And Arietta, right now, it's just a wait-and-see approach. Maybe he'll find something, like I mentioned, being in a pennant race here with the Padres this season for the rest of the year now. And obviously they need him, that they sign him today, and he's already slated to start here on Wednesday. So the good thing about him getting cut while he's not hurt or trying to ramp up in his innings that he comes right back to the big leagues. But I'm just going to keep him on the waiver wire and see what he does with the Padres. And if he does something good for two or three starts, then you go out there and pick him up. If you're maybe in the deepest of leagues and you need a spot starter on Wednesday, then you could pick Arietta up. But right now, I'm just going to take a wait-and-see approach with him for fantasy baseball and see if he could pitch back to form like he was a few seasons ago, even early in the season, where he got off to a pretty decent start. So Jake Arrieta signs with the San Diego Padres, and he's in line for a start already Wednesday, August 18th, and we'll see if he has any fantasy impact and if he could help this Padre team end of the season into the playoff push.